All right, so now, like I was saying before, that my car completely ended that video on me. Um, you know, my aunt said, get the ring, bring it to the house, sit them down, tell them, Mr. and Mrs. Not gonna show, not gonna give a name again. I love your daughter. She loves me. I know you guys aren't my the biggest fans of me. You know, my mom loves your daughter. You know, even though my, even though she doesn't think my mom loves her, or um, yeah, she doesn't think she doesn't think my mom is a big fan of her. But my mom loves her. My mom loves every girl that I date, even though my mom doesn't show because that's the type of person she is. She doesn't really show compassion to my significant others because that's what she is and it's okay i grew up that way so but um i say i love you daughter with all my heart and um i know that it's gonna be hard for me to even get you guys to agree with this but i would like to ask your daughter for her hand in marriage her father looked at me and said son we don't hate you we just got tired of her getting hurt and your swagger I said oh boy here comes the swagger again I look at him and said sir it's not a swagger it's who I am it's, 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 just, it's just how it's just how I am I'm, it's not a it's not a cocky swagger so that's why I've calmed down on my, calm, my swagger so calm down on my swagger because apparently it's been getting me in trouble with a lot of with a lot of girls fathers so but um I said it's not it's not a swagger it's just who I am and what I do and you know son you treat my you treat my daughter with all due respect. I said, I, I said, sir, I treat every girl I date with all due respect. I said, I would never hit her. I would never beat her up. I would never do anything. I said, I would love this girl with all my heart. I will I would do my best to provide for her. I would do my best to make sure that she is taken care of, even when you guys are gone. I will make sure that she is fed every day, even if I even if I gotta starve myself. I will make sure that my kids and her are fed. I will make sure that when I get home from work, even if I have a bad day, I walk up, I hug her, I kiss her. When she's having a bad day, I make sure that even if I'm at a friend's house, I come home, make sure, make sure, see if see what's going on. If she had a bad day at work, you know. Um, I am. So I told, cause I told him, I said I started a new job. I started a new job at West Point. So I'll make sure that I will be working through the ranks to get better, more and more pay, which I did. And um, I told him that I am looking into opening up a business that I never really got a chance to start until now. But um, I was starting, like I, like I told you before, the business. I wanted to start a DJing business back in 2012, try to get some extra money, you know, but never happened so the business is opening up so my dream of the business didn't come to fruition until now but it's coming to fruition as we speak a lot of hard work i'm putting into getting this thing up and running 2021 should be here and i told him i said sir i'm i'm i'm, I'm working my butt off to get this business underway to, to provide for her more and more he goes what kind of business like dj business i go i go it's it's pretty much like a job to make more money for the both of us. Because I like that, you know, you you show you showing that you know you showing that you can provide for my daughter when other guys that she did couldn't. I said, oh, sir, all I want to do is provide for her and make her feel like everything that I did in these past two years. We're worth, we're worth my time of giving her the next 50 to 60 years. And he gave me his wishes. So I went on. I looked at, I looked at her mom. Gave her the same speech. But a better speech. And after, I, after it was all said and done, I looked at her. I said, Mrs. No Name. Can you please find me one of her rings? She gave me a ring. I went, to, I went to the ring store, bought two rings. Apparently, whenever I propose somebody, I buy two rings. I don't know why. I just buy. I always buy, I always buy two rings. I gotta give them a choice. But uh, bought two rings, and um, we broke up. 
like two months later. I had because most ring stores you get 90 days to you get 90 days to bring it back. So it was a refund after 90 days. So I bought it for two months. I sat in my room for I sat in my room for two months. Even day she came over, she had no idea the ring was in the the ring. She had no idea a couple times the ring was next to her. We lay in my bed. And the ring was next to her for two for two months. She she be she. One day one day she got to fight her parents and she came over and she slept over, and I wasn't even there. She slept over and like the ring was ring was next to her in in the. In the cabin next to her, she didn't know. Like, I was at a buddy's house. I was helping. I was helping him out with his breakup. So, but anyways, so both stories seem some seem familiar. What happened this time? But so I guess this will happen. I guess I just got it not by the ring and just proposed and then by the ring afterward. But um, so she told me she's like, you know what? And I told her I actually told her the story today and. She was like, wow, I, I didn't realize, you know, I just never thought we were, I just never thought you were too serious. And I said, you know what? I said, sometimes, like, I get in trouble, I get in trouble with relationships because, they, you know, they don't think I'm serious, but I always got to try to try to show them that I'm serious, you know. That always seems to be, like, my problem is, like, I show my seriousness too late and it just always backfires on me. But, um, she said, just keep your head up, you know. She, she said one thing that I never thought I'd hear her say. She said, I still do love you. You know, we, you know, she was, I'm married now, but, you know, I still do love you as a person and as somebody that will, you know, that, that was that was there for me during my tough time. You know, you let me sleep. You let me sleep over your house even when you weren't there. When you were in Florida, you let me sleep over your house because I had a problem alone. I said, that's that person I am. But anyways, um... She went, she went one way and I went the other way. And I told her, I said, if you ever need anything, hit me up. I gave her my cell phone number. She gave me hers. Went away. But moral, the, pretty much what I'm trying to say is, you know, you could have a bad breakup with somebody. You could hate somebody. You know, I've been hated before. I'm still being hated on by people, by, by past. For no reason, but you know what? You could be hated on by somebody, but make sure you have a good reason to hate on a person. Because, you know, I've been cheated on, I've been lied to, and I wish everybody, any girl, the best wishes in their future life. And I always tell them if you ever want to talk to me, you ever need any help from me, give me a call. I don't change my phone number for anybody. Give me a call. I'll talk with you. If, even even if it's I need I need I need you to come and bring me to the hospital, or I need you to, I, you just need somebody to talk to. You know you're you're going through a rough time, or you know your your boyfriend you're with now. It, you're always fighting. You're going through a rough time. Shoot, hit me up. I'm cool to talk with you. But, you, know, I, you know, I wish people well. I wish their family well. But, I guess what it is. I guess, I guess it's different between me and like other people because when I try, I try to help out other people. It seems to backfire on me. But anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. Uh, big, big. Um, surprise coming up in the next couple of weeks with my podcast, so just get ready. The podcast is going to be good. I'm going to have I'm going to have three group podcasts. So you guys just get ready. See you later. Bye.